Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I forgot to film the intro. So we're gonna do a little cooking keto here, and we're gonna make cloud bread. It is throwback Wednesday, throwback Wednesday. It's a thing, I just made it up. We're gonna make cloud bread with um, egg salad sandwiches. I already tried it, it's delicious. All right guys, well I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later. Let's make some cloud bread, friends. Okay, the first step is the ingredients, and cloud bread is very basic. It is a keto-friendly, gluten-free, very low-carb bread-like product. So you'll need eggs, three eggs for one recipe. You will need an ounce and a half of softened cream cheese. So you really want it soft, and your eggs need to be at room temperature. Now I am doing a double batch here. So, but I'm doing one at a time because my pan will only hold six. You don't need a fancy pan. I have one, so let's use it, right? Um, so I have my cream cheese. You're gonna want a little bit of onion powder or really any seasoning that you want. I like onion powder in mine but you can do anything you want. You don't have to season it at all. But I'm making egg salad to go with this, so I thought, this is what? A, just a pinch of onion powder in there. And this is gonna be for the egg yolks. And then your cream of tartar helps stabilize the egg whites, because we're gonna mix the egg whites. So again, like a pinch. I think it's like an eighth of a teaspoon, if that for three egg whites. And that's why we have two bowls going. Now I could use my stand mixer, but I didn't want to get it out. So here is what we're gonna do. We are separating eggs. You do not want to get any of the yellow yolk in with your egg whites. They won't whip up good for you. And you want those at room temperature as well. Everything needs to be room temperature. Here's my trick for eggs at room temperature. I put them in a glass measuring cup and put super hot water over them and let them sit there for a few minutes and it brings them up to room temperature rather nicely. And then the cream cheese, I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. It's fine, it doesn't really matter. Come on, there we go. It doesn't matter if it's a little melted. You just want emulsion. You want them to come together. And you want, ooh, see? Okay, now I just got some egg yolk in my whites. So that's not good. You see it in there? So I'm gonna have to start fresh because it won't whip up. So give me a second. We're back. Let's try that again. That, you have to be super careful and you really need the beaten egg whites. So we're gonna do it the right way this time. Cream of tartar. And a separate little bowl. And if you really wanna do it good and you don't mind getting messy, just put it in your hand. In the egg whites, watch, I'll show you. The egg whites will come through. So I'm gonna have sort of, I mean, I'll keep the egg yolks. I have a bowl behind me and do something else with them, but I don't need them in my um, cream cheese because I already have three yolks in there. See how easy that is? Just put it through your hand and the whites just go through. It's just a little messy. Let me rinse real quick. Now I'm doing this properly. Was that three? Yes. Now the egg whites go in their bowl. But we're not gonna whip them yet. The whipping of that is the last thing you wanna do. The first thing you wanna do is mix your cream cheese and your egg yolks together. I can use the mixer and that would be fine. I'm trying to use this little plastic whisk so it's not super loud, but I'm not gonna get it really 
emulsify like I want. So I'm gonna get out a real whisk and I'll mute it. Okay, that's real good now. You really want everything, because you're just gonna lightly fold the other things together. So that's done. Next up, we have to whip these egg wipes, and these are gonna take a little time. So like I said, if you wanna get your big mixer out, go for it. I'm gonna do it with this whisk attachment. So just give us a second. Okay, let's check it out. Not stiff peaks by any mad stretch of the imagination. You really want them to stand up on their own. So a little more time. Okay, last step before we dose everything up is, I'm gonna, well, there's two steps. I need to spray my pan. You can also do this just on parchment, which I think is perfect too, but I spray my pan. Ooh, sorry, getting aggressive. Last step is we're gonna fold this together. And you wanna be pretty delicate with it, but also quick. These egg whites will deflate, and if you lose that, you're gonna kinda lose what you're looking for, if that makes sense, of the height. And then I will tell you, I need to, I will wash my egg white pan when I do the second batch. Just so I know it's fresh and clean. This one is fine. But six at a time, guys, six at a time. Unless I did it on parchment, but I want them a little uniform. So I'm just delicate. Go to the middle, fold. It's time consuming but oh so worth it. Now, if I wanted to, and I may on the second batch, I can sprinkle some everything seasoning on top and make these everything sandwiches, which I may go grab and do, we'll see. So we're doing pretty good. I see one globule of the egg white. You just wanna get it pretty well blended. There we go. Okay, let me move you and I'll get my seasoning. Now, last step. My oven is preheated to 300 degrees and you wanna get these portioned out. Pretty even or as even as you can. Into these six containers before your eggs completely collapse. Baking them for like 20 to 25 minutes. I'll keep an eye on them. And then they have to cool in their pan completely. Pretty completely. Okay, not 100%. But you don't want to... All right, so I think each one of these is going to get approximately three scoops. Of the spoon? Yeah. Perfect. Three of the spoons. And then you just want to take the back of your spoon... Because there's no flour, you know, these aren't going to, um, you know, do the rising thing. You want to kind of make them good. You see all the eggs that are kind of coming out? Or the bubbles? They're, it's breaking down all that quickly. All right, done. Everything but the bagel seasoning. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little on top. Because who doesn't love everything but the bagel seasoning? Then they're going to go in the oven and do their happy thing, right? Oop, on this one. I like a lot of seasoning. Okay, in the oven they go. Let's make some egg salad. So this is a dozen eggs. I'm going to eat this most of the week. And I just chopped it up. I need to get one of those chopper thingies that you put the stuff on your cutting board and you smack the top of it. I feel like I've seen them before. Maybe Pampered Chef or something. I don't know. I need to get one. So what we're going to do, this is how I make my egg salad. Everybody does it a little different. I do it like a deviled egg. 
So I mix in some mustard. I use relish, dill relish. I am A, I'm keto. So the dill relish doesn't have sugar in it. Plus, I don't like sweet relish, but this is Vlasic dill relish, no sugar added to that. You need to check your pickles if you're keto because a lot of brands, for some, I don't even know why, add sugar to their dill pickles, which is just bizarre to me. Oh, we want some salt and pepper because I love pepper, right? Speaking of pepper, I tried that sriracha pepper or sriracha salt that I got in my uh, Dollar Tree haul. Who is that good? Okay, now we're just going to kind of blend together. I don't like mine overly wet, but again, that's the beauty of like salads. You can make your own how you and your family like it. I tend to just add a little bit at a time, mix it up. I'm sorry there's no recipe here because it's egg salad. Like I don't measure because it's different every time, right? And this is gonna be delicious on our cloud bread. It's so, so the cloud bread is really soft. Almost like a Wonder Bread. Oh, I miss Wonder Bread. I know it's not good for you, white bleached flour. I get it, but when I was a kid, man, we ate Wonder Bread, and that was the thing. Okay, definitely need more pepper. Because if I can't see it, it's not in there, right? Now I see it. And I usually will salt and pepper, and then when I make my sandwich, I put pepper on top. Let's taste it. Mmm. That's really good. That's how I like it. Nothing fancy. Just plain old, good old egg salad. Very keto friendly. The uh, mayonnaise I'm using right now is avocado mayo. I, use, I love Duke's mayonnaise, but it's hard to find in Ohio. Sadly. So, this is what I have. It's okay, though. I like it. And sometimes my aunt, when she comes to visit from Texas, she brings it to me because it's delicious. All right. Egg salad is done. The oopsie bread is going to come out of the oven. Oop, that's not the right one. Oopsie bread, cloud bread, it's all the same. This will go in the fridge. And when the bread comes out, I will show you what it looks like and we'll make a sandwich for lunch today. All right, here they are out of the oven. Now these were all done in the pan and the bottoms get a little stuck. This was just done on parchment and I think it's better. So moving forward, I will just do them on parchment. The shape is not terrible. So I think that's fine. So there they are. Now we should make a sandwich. And there is our sandwich. I only did the um, everything but the bagel seasoning on the top. And it's now a bun. And it's soft. When it comes out, it's going to be a little hard. Just let it sit. It softens up. Now I'm going to eat my lunch. I hope that was helpful for anybody. And let's enjoy some throwback cloud bread.